beyond that now. And at my age, trying to build strength and muscle is more difficult than when you're younger. And <clears throat> but we've done it. We've done it. We, I'm I'm lift, deadlifting maybe 30 pound bags of mulch now when I couldn't even open a ketchup bottle before. And um, we're working on strength, balance, and I'm getting back on my skates, which I wasn't sure a year ago that I'd ever do again. And I may or may not be competitive, but we're gonna continue to work on it. I got on it pretty quickly, as I was, I was needing help. I got on it pretty quickly and started searching the internet for, I was looking for a personal trainer because I didn't know any different. And um, you popped up on a video. And so I filled out the contact card. You called me, we had a great conversation and came in to see you, we had a great conversation, figured out that you could help me. And so it's been going on since then. I just didn't know what to do and what I needed. I knew I needed some help because I couldn't um, do the things I love to do. I was weak and I, I, I knew I needed help. I was dealing with cancer and cancer treatment and chemo and radiation left me just weak and I couldn't, I couldn't live life. And so I needed, I needed help to get back to doing the things I wanted to do. Uh, I was missing out on life. I was missing out on skating. I was missing out on going to church. I was missing out on anything that um, social because I was just too sick and weak. No, I was too sick and too weak to try anything on my own. I, I knew I needed professional help. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I needed a chiropractor. I wasn't sure if I needed physical therapy. I didn't know if I needed to join a gym and work out. I wasn't sure what I needed. And then when I saw the video of Brandon, I'm thinking, that's, that's what I need to do. I beg them to come. I get down on my hands and knees almost and beg them to come and see Brandon because I tell him I know he can help them. Mr. Brandon, of course. <laughs> Uh, you know, we we talk, we laugh, we we work hard, but I, I look forward to coming every week. And Brandon's just so personable and so helpful, and he will get you back to doing what you love to do quickly. It's the best thing you'll ever do for yourself. Uh, I plan on doing it the rest of my life. Yeah, well, I was so weak and had no muscle at all. And um, we started out doing physical therapy. Brandon hits those pressure points and you want to say things you don't usually say. <laughs> he finds them and he takes care of them for you. But um, we're kind of beyond that now. and. At my age, trying to build strength and muscle is more difficult than when you're younger. And <clears throat> But we've done it. We've done it. We, I'm, I'm lift, deadlifting maybe 30 pound bags of mulch now when I couldn't even open a ketchup bottle before. And um, we're working on strength and balance and I'm getting back on my skates, which I wasn't sure a year ago that I'd ever do again. And I may or may not be competitive, but we're going to continue to work on it. I, I had no life other than sitting on the couch. 
and, and now I'm doing things I love to do. I'm working in my yard, I'm skating. Um, I, I can do just about anything I want to do. And it's 72, it's not bad. Well, I think anybody dealing with cancer tends to, it, it's such a rough, hard journey that they tend to give up. But if you keep your focus on God, and God has led me to so many wonderful people, uh, my healthcare team, Brandon, um, and, and all of that is part of recovery. And if you just t take each day, keep your focus on God, and having people like Brandon in your life that you can talk to and that is, um, they're, they're empathetic with what you're going through and they meet you where you are and you work up slowly. And it, it is a journey, it, it's a long journey, but oh, it's so worth it.